and you know this already, when you see ice skaters, when an ice skater spins and they want to spin faster, they start with their arms outstretched and they have a certain rotation speed by virtue of that. As they bring their arms in, this is a phenomenon of physics called the conservation of angular momentum. If you start out large, slowly rotating, and now you're half the size, you're gonna be rotating twice as fast. If you want 10th the size, you're gonna be rotating 10 times as fast. Is that right? MV squared over R, right? This is why everything in the universe has some kind of rotation, because it's essentially impossible for any large gas cloud to not have motions within it to begin with. Often they're thermal motions, there's turbulence within the cloud before it sort of collapses to become something solid. So why does the universe seem to prefer spinning from pirouetting skaters to whirlpool galaxies? We look out and see rotation across many scales. Collapsing clouds that form stars often flatten into disks. Many galaxies carry angular momentum, some as grand spirals, others as rotating ellipticals, and even small asteroids can spin or tumble. Apparent stillness is fragile. Any tiny irregular motion gets amplified when something shrinks under gravity. Rotation becomes the stable way to store motion because it doesn't require matter to pile.